Everybody alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Opening rounds here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. He digs in with a left hand to the body. And now he scores well with a straight right. Wow, two of the best power-punching heavyweights of any generation now. Iron Mike Tyson facing off against Big George Foreman. Give me something to look for. How do you distribute your power? That's what I'm going to give you. And what is effective? That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Big, big shot comes crashing home. A defensive lapse there. Mike Tyson's leaning forward. His opponent got him with the uppercut. And the perfect selection of a punch when a guy's leaning forward. Two, three. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter-punching. Foreman's got to shore things up a bit there. That was a destructive counter-punch he got hit by. A thundering right hand from George Foreman. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. He just missed that shot up top. That's where he wants to be able to do some damage with his opponent backed up against the ropes. He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. George Foreman's crushed by a huge uppercut. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing that I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to his sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand. Oh, and there you go. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Good job on the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Goes up top with a right hand. Counters with a crushing blow to the head. Tyson's doing a beautiful job here early on of counter punching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counter punching pays off too because the opponent becomes a little tentative. And then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good looking uppercut that time. Left hook to the body. Then he comes back with the right hand. Mike Tyson's on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. And our first glimpse of blood from his nose. Foreman's hit by a right hand. Big shot. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. So big George Foreman able to get up after that knockdown and now a real challenge in front of him. Now the challenge right now is really the opposite of any challenge that he's ever faced before. Usually the challenge is 
how to get rid of a guy. You know, how to put his big paws on a guy. Now he has to find a way to survive. And that's the end of round two. Tyson's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. George Foreman just coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid. There's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. Oh, what an uppercut. Well placed counter punch by George Foreman. just much too much for his opponent another knockout for him Mike Tyson is able to come up with a shocker here. Out of nowhere, early on, a knockout victory. And does it with one shot that he never saw. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fight.